Hey guys, welcome to DreamCoin, where we show how to invest for a better tomorrow. My name's Tyler, and today we're gonna be covering a new stock that I haven't touched on before, which is gonna be Infinity Pharmaceuticals. Their ticker is gonna be INFI, and we're gonna be looking at what they do as a company, where I see their price currently, and how I think they have value going into the future from where they're currently priced. This is gonna be their pipeline for a drug that is Eganilisib, and this would be a a treatment that is looking to basically stimulate the T cells in a person's body. Specifically in cancer, their treatments are meant to allow for the immunosuppressed system to not be as suppressed due to the cancer that's in a person's body. And this would allow the body to be able to build a more immune response to the cancer cells and possibly fight back even depending on how the treatment interacts in the client's body. Their main form of trying to treat this is something called p13k gamma which is found commonly in cancer and this basically sets up for the shutdown of the patient's immune system for anybody that's afflicted because what it does is stimulates the cells in a person's body to be more suppressive in the immune system and it basically kind of just turns off the defenses of a person's body from the inside out infinity pharmaceuticals found in their preclinical research Research that it was demonstrated for gamma to be able to be blocked in order to allow for a person's immune system to not be as suppressed and even turn around and attack even the cancer that's in the person's body. So instead of looking at more dangerous stuff like chemotherapy and all that, that can have a lot of negative side effects. This is actually stimulating the person's body like a lot of the other companies that we've covered for pharma stocks in the past. And it's a little bit more of a natural process that can happen to where it can build up the person's strength inside of their body. Their main treatment that they're working on inside of their pipeline is an oral treatment that you would take once daily. This would allow for the potential in decreasing the immune system suppression that is currently going on and increasing the immune activation system, which would essentially help stimulate the T cells to go after attacking the tumors that are growing inside of a person's body. There is a lot of research to back up the fact that anything that could deal with immune suppression from tumors could be a possible relation to where we find a cure for cancer or prevention of it even coming into fruition for patients that are more high risk for this kind of stuff. This is going to allow for the progression of where we can get with cancer treatments. Analyst price targets have them at an average value of about $8.50 with a high up to $12. And their market cap is right around $250 million during most trading days based on on their share price. Where they're currently trading at is $2.86 as of Friday's close. And so this would leave them to be possibly significantly undervalued based on the direction of the company over the next 12 months. Looking at their timeline from the past six months, we can look back towards February where they ended up peaking over nine and a half dollars at one point. And then they had a sell off going into March where basically a lot of the stock market was struggling at that time. So that kind of lines up well with where the rest of the market was trending in that area anyway, especially in micro caps. And since then it's been consolidating here right around just above $2.50. So if we look at the price today where they've closed just under $2.90, they're not far from a hypothetical bottom for the last six months. As we look back at the actual bottom since May, we've got roughly $2.56. This would only put them about 20, 30 cents off. And on top of that, we have a potential catalyst coming into the end of July. So on July 27th, they are expected to be giving some data on one of their phase two trials they're currently working on. And then this would also set up for possible data going into fourth quarter of this year, which could see a double up of where this is going. I think with the fact that this can be a good setup into where we see the future of the company with the data, this could be a nice run up to where we see a possible four to $5 push before this data comes out at the end of the month. As we look back on the one minute chart, they are on a bottom for the last month, including the very beginning of June on the first. So this is a very nice reversal setup to where they could be bouncing off of this bottom and starting to trend more upwards towards that catalyst date of July 27th. This company long term looks like they have a lot going for them. They could be in a very nice position for where they lead into the future, especially if they can get more of the data 
out for their treatments and it shows that they're actually effective in treating tumors and carcinoma and all those different things that they're dealing in. And as I said before, they're dealing in cancer. So this makes some of their treatments a little more valuable than you would typically look at for other types of drugs. Since cancer has been around for so long and known for so long, and a lot of different studies have come up that have fallen short where this could put them as a prime runner for their treatment type going into cancer research over the next couple of years. If they can get solid data out and get to a position where they can actually submit to the FDA, I could see them being worth a $2 billion market cap right now. Remember I said they're trading around about 250 million at the moment. So that would put them about eight times undervalued in that range for where they would be at. And that would give me a price target long-term of about $23 for me as of right now. Obviously this is gonna be based on how the data looks here at the end of July and where they're looking in quarter four of this year. But this could look very promising for the direction of the company going forward. And I think a long target of $23 is gonna be where I look at for them. Now, short-term going into the catalyst, there is a lot of potential for different stuff. They've already traded at a high of about $3.71 in the last month. So I'm gonna be looking for about $4 or more going into this catalyst at the end of July. And if they do get good data, I could be seeing possible new highs from the last couple months where they start trading over $5 again for at least a little bit. I've been doing a lot of coverage on the MRIN short squeeze that looks to be basically due anytime. If you are interested in that whole type of thing going on, I did do a whole recap of the entire price action over the last two weeks and where I think the stock could be going with the short squeeze coming up this upcoming week. And now I'm looking more towards getting my July watch list in tomorrow before market opens on Tuesday. So if you're interested in seeing a monthly watch list, make sure you join the Discord to see what stocks I'm looking at and what price action I'm looking at on those as well. Other than that, that's going to do it for me in this video today, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.